everyone welcome to my channel i am in a crappy mood today i was going to vlog yesterday actually and then i was kind of in a crummy mood and then i thought maybe i would vlog today but i'm still just not feeling it because honestly i've been posting a lot of vlogs recently and I enjoy them, don't get me wrong, but I want to switch up my content every now and then for you guys and also for me because it also gets boring filming the same vlogs and feeling like I'm putting up the same content over and over again. So instead, I'm going to talk with you guys, probably rant a little bit, just chit chat while I decorate our apartment because I went out to the grocery store yesterday and came back with a bunch of mini pumpkins and mini gourds. So I'm going to display these around the apartment while I talk to you guys. Over the weekend, Scott came home. I'm very happy about it. But it did make me realize that even though he is going to be the one doing traveling for work and going on all of these business trips, it is going to affect me and my schedule as well because he just got back from Denmark. He's going to Austin next week. He's going to be going to Denmark again, actually, in December. So he's going to be doing traveling. It sounds like probably at least one trip a month, roughly, on average, and I'm obviously not used to him traveling without me. Usually, if one of us is going somewhere, it's me going home to see my family, and he's the one who stays here. So I'm not really used to being the one staying here alone and being by myself. And I realized this time when he came back that I'm going to probably have two completely different routines when he's away versus when he's here. And it, it like just dawned on me that this is going to happen because when he was gone, I had a very set routine because I was trying to distract myself from the fact that he was gone. So I would go on a walk in the morning, I would work out in the middle of the day, I would go on another walk, maybe hang out with friends. Everything that I was eating, like all of my meals, I had them all planned out. And everything that was happening was up to me. I was making all the decisions. The ball was always in my court. I could change my mind at the drop of a hat and there were no consequences about anything. But now that he's back, I can't always do exactly what I want and like taking his thoughts into consideration. It's just, it's two completely different scenarios that I'm not used to because I have never lived alone. I have always had a roommate. I've only had my own room for two years of my life, junior and senior year of college. So I'm really not used to doing my completely own thing and now I'm gonna have to learn to adapt to doing my own thing when he's gone and then going back to, you know, living with someone when he's here. I don't, it's just, it probably sounds really bad and I don't want it to come across that I'm like, I like it better one way or the other because I know he's enjoying what he's doing and traveling for work is going to be really great for him and everything. I just, I need to learn how to deal with it because I'm not used to it. That's all I'm trying to say. So yeah, him coming home was a bit of a wake up call. Um, these are all of the gourds that I have. Just took them out of the bag, so now I need to figure out where they're going to go. I also have cookies, and this is another thing about him traveling. I'm gonna get to it in a minute, but I have cookies that my grandpa sent us, and these cookies are so freaking good, literally. My grandpa sends us these like seasonal cookie boxes every so often and this box is by far my favorite there are such good flavors in there but i don't need all of these cookies <laughs> i really don't need all of them and scott he's so sweet he went to denmark and came back with treats and he got me a sweatshirt and he also brought back chocolates 
and cheese and I'm trying so hard right now because we just got engaged, we're planning for the wedding. I really want to be consistent with myself and my routines and my diet and my working out. But it's really hard when your grandpa, so sweet, sends you cookies and then Scott, so sweet, travels and brings you back chocolates. Like, it's so difficult. And I think that's, you know what? I'm having a bit of an epiphany moment right now. I think that's part of the reason why I was struggling with like being alone last week and then Scott coming back is that my consistency is slipping and that's always been the thing that I've struggled with the most in my routines and working out and specifically with eating and my diet just being consistent because that can be your biggest downfall if you aren't consistent like and that is what i'm trying to work towards because especially for our wedding that's like giving me a goal and i want to stick to that goal and be consistent for that but it's hard with all of these things going on and everything changing all the time it's very frustrating now i'm running around putting up mini pumpkins and trying to cope with it so i'm just gonna run around for a minute and try to find good spots for these This whole video is so chaotic, I'm sure, but here's where we put the pumpkins. So I have one on the bar cart. I have this nice little stack going on on the table. Scott's stuff is also still everywhere from his travels. He hasn't really unpacked. Um, we have this little guy, those up there on the desk. We have some by our little hello fall sign. This is really cute, I like this. That looks good. And then there's one, I don't know if you can see it, on top of that stack of books up there. So that took like two minutes, <laughs> but it's been nice ranting a little bit. The other, the only other thing that I feel like I didn't talk about yet is wedding stuff. And I'm not gonna get into too much details or anything but I just I want us to find a place and book a venue and have a date because I want to go all out and like have something again to distract me especially when Scott's gonna be going on these trips I'm going to be looking at so many wedding pictures and videos and just planning out this whole thing but it's a little difficult to do that until we, you know, lock down a date and stuff. So this is very difficult. My mom has been so sweet going to look at venues in person for us since we are in Boston and planning the wedding in the Cleveland, Pittsburgh area. And I just, people who reply to their emails really quickly are the best. There are some places that we are really interested in, but they, are kind of slow with getting back to us, which is really annoying because I just want to, I don't know, I, I wanna get it all figured out. So I just feel like I have a lot going on right now and I needed to talk it out with you guys. I don't know if anyone can relate to anything that I was saying, probably. I mean, people have significant others who travel for work all the time or I mean, even long distance relationships, this is by far not a long distance relationship, but you know that it's a different, it's really different when that the person is with you compared to when they're gone. And I don't know, I just need to get used to it and need to stop wallowing in my own self pity, I guess, and get over it and be more consistent with everything changing around me. That is what I really need to work on because that is going to make everything a lot easier if I can just figure out how to be consistent with my routines whether Scott is here or not. 
otherwise that'll be my biggest downfall. Okay, anyways, I have talked your ear off for probably way too long now, but thank you for listening. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to see more. The next video might be a Q&A on the proposal and engagement, so if you have any questions that you want answered for that, comment them down below. And uh, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram for more day-to-day -day content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.